Hello, my name is Ioannis Dizung and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to restrict, remove certain capabilities uh, before you're releasing your database to the end users. So the first thing we need to do is basically create an icon. So let's type icon converter on Google. Um, quite a few websites are there. I'm just selecting the first option. I'm just going to select my picture that I want to convert to an icon. So I'm just going to click convert and then it's saved now on my downloads. Okay. So now I can minimize this and go back to my database. I'm going to go to the file, select options, and I'm going to select current database. So my, my database is called workplace for training okay and now I'm going to select my icon I'll just click download it uh, yeah so display status bar so I can actually remove the status bar now you can always go back and enable it again I'm just going to overlapping windows so tabbed documents so I'm just going to leave them as tab documents uh, display document tabs so I can remove that uh, I can actually in fact let's leave the tabs there uh, use access special key we'll leave that as it is use Windows theme controls okay let's remove that enable layout view no, I want to remove that. I don't want people to mess about with my layout. Enable design changes. I don't want people to mess about with my design. Uh, check uh, for tr uh, truncated. Let's remove that as well. Now, display navigation pane. Okay. So, I've got here all the tables. I do not want to display my tables because that's the easy way for basically people to mess about with things so objects I want people to be able to select the uh, queries let's remove the tables here uh, I want them to be able to use the forms here uh, and the reports now I don't want them to, to touch the macros uh, or the modules here so the macros will be have been implemented on my forms anyway so the only thing they will be able to select is queries, forms, and reports. Let's click OK. Uh, allow full menus. Let's remove that. Uh, allow default shortcut menus. Let's remove that. OK. Uh, let's click on datasheet. Let's have a look here object design proofing yeah we can leave the rest here yeah now client uh, customized ribbon so here we have uh, quite a few options here we can actually remove some of the options I'm just gonna like uh, external data actually we're just gonna leave this we can always deselect them afterwards yeah, let's remove the create so people won't be able to create new stuff. Um, external data, database tools, yeah, let's remove that. Uh, source control, let's remove that. Add-ins, let's control, remove that. Uh, the home, yeah, we can leave that as it is. And the print preview, we can leave it as it is. Okay, so let's click OK. Now let's close the database. And let's reopen the database and as you can see here quite a few tabs are removed okay uh, so if I open my form so I've got I still have access to my forms I can go to the home tab yeah but I cannot longer go to the design view so if I right click here I cannot right click here nothing happens okay so now people cannot mess about with my database I cannot people do not have access to the tables okay so 
if I go now ahead and uh, let's go let's close this database uh, and let's open Microsoft Access I'm just gonna click on open I'm going to select, oops, let's close that, actually. let's go to Microsoft Access. And let's select Open, and let's Browse, and let's select my database. Let's, I'm just hold the control and click and drag to create a new version. Uh, I will say protect it with restrictions so I'm going to select the protected with restrictions database version and I'm going to open this exclusive okay enable content now I can go to file center okay so I've got yeah I've got I've removed quite a few options here if you cannot see the options here so let's go to file private options current database uh, let's display bar so let's apply all the controls again Oops. Let's go to the objects. Okay, we have select them all. That's okay. Allow full menus, allow default short codes. Okay. Now, use the form or report icon, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open, when the uh, database opens, I'm gonna open the main menu form as well. Let's click OK. Let's close the database, and let's open it again. So I've got all the options, oops, we have, we still don't have the options, let's have a look. Yes, I can go to the design view now. Okay, so we we applied all the options again, but as you can see, the main menu opens automatically. So if I close this now, and I'm just gonna go to Microsoft Access, I'm gonna click open, I'm gonna browse, I'm gonna select my database and open exclusive. I'm going to go to File and select uh, Info, and I have the option to password protect it. I'm just going to put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Obviously, put a password that is uh, more secure. Yeah, that's okay. So, if I go now to File, Options, and I can go to the current database uh, and display status bar, display tabs. Let's remove, restrict all the options here. And on the navigation, I'm just going to go to the objects. People won't have access to the tables, macros, or modules. Okay, that's good. Okay, allow full menu. Let's remove that. Default shortcodes. Okay. So let's click OK. Let's exit the database. And now if I open the database, I need to put the password. One, two, three, four, five. And if I right click here, I cannot right click. I cannot edit them. So 
if I go there, go back home. Okay, so my database is fully uh, protected and it's customized in such a way that I will not be able to, uh, the users will not be able to actually mess about with my tables or mess about with the layout. I hope you learned something new today. I hope you will be able to apply these new skills onto your database system. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.